Hello and welcome to Bailey's. This week we're taking a quick look at the Yukon Sightline range. These are a more basic range of night vision rifle scopes that are available um, in like opposition to the Pulsar range. So they are pretty much, they do what they say on the tin. As you can see on the side here, these are available in two different options. The 470S, which is a six power, and the 450S, which is a four power base mag. Um, they, the four power goes up to 16 on digital, and the six goes up to 24 on digital. So as you can see there, high magnification, four to 16 to six to 24, 400 meter nighttime viewing range. Um, on the 470, it quotes 450, um, but I've been using this out to around about, detection will be about 400 yards, um, shootable 250, 300, uh, something along those lines. Um, it's very, very light sensitive. Um, when you pop that cap, cap open on the front at night, um, ambient light is amazing with this device, I've got to admit. Um, high resolution sensor and display, suitable for daytime use as well with the cap closed, I'll show you that in a second. Uh, you've got scalable ballistic reticles, accurate zoom zeroing, and quick release rechargeable batteries. So that's the box, that's what it comes in. Nice and simple. Inside the box, you get your normal gubbins, you get your instructions, as well as your warranty information, which is three years through us and Thomas Jacks, or whoever you buy it off. Also in the box, you get a carry case. So if, for example, you're using it on different rifles, or you've got it on a blaster mount or something like that, you've at least got something to put it in that's gonna keep it relatively protected and safe. So that's always a winner. So the device itself, this rifle is unloaded and safe. The device itself, let's just move this across here so you can see it. As you can see, it comes on a rear extended mount, so it gives you the correct eye relief for your rifle, which is ideal. You've got an iSafe 850NM IR illuminator on the side there. This is your front cap. That's got a tiny little hole in it, so you can use it in the daytime as well, which is always good. The batteries on this, um, on Thomas Jackson's website, it says you need to use four AA batteries in a cradle. You haven't got to worry about that. Um, they actually do come with the DNV batteries, which are rechargeable, which are these. So that's a definite winner. And you get the charging cradle as well. So they just pop on. Life, battery life on this. Um, if you're using an external IR, you're looking around about seven to eight hours. If you're using the onboard IR, about four hours. But realistically, I've, I've had no issues with batteries on a night's foxing. So as you can see, nice and simple on this side. On the top of the scope here, you've got your power button, which also puts it to sleep. So if you do a quick press, it'll just put it into screen off mode. You've got your menu and dial control. So this is for all the options, zero in, uh, picture in picture, everything else is all controlled through that. I can't show you recording because this doesn't record. And you've got your focus ring at the front, which is really nice and smooth, which makes a change on a lot of the devices. It can be quite stiff, especially some of the uh, the older ATN bits and pieces. So the other side of this, turn this round. You have got a Picatinny rail there for mounting an external IR. Um, if you're going to, I'd use something relatively small um, because of the extra weight hanging off the side. Um, but yeah, so that's it. You've got a nice big rubbery eye cup. You can take this off if you don't want to use one of those. Some people don't like them against their eyes. You've got the adjustable uh, ocular on the back as well. Let's pop this back on there. There we go. You've got the adjustable ocular at the back as well to crisp up the image for your eye if you're a glasses wearer, etc. So yeah, that's a general look over the scope. Um, as I said, the differences between this and the uh, Pulsar variant, the N450, um, isn't massive with regard the sensors, etc. The N470 still runs the 1280 by 720 CMOS sensor, which is the new sensor um, which Pulsar and Yukon are using. And the viewfinder is still a 1024 by 768 AMO LED display the new displays so you're still getting some really nice um, crisp 
images through the scope absolutely cracking to look through i'll try and put some pictures up here of some of the photos i've took through the back of the scope because i can't like i said i can't take photos um all the benefits this is ipx4 rated that means it's splash proof um the pulsar products are ipx7 i believe which means they can be submerged this is like rainproof you know you don't drop it in a river because it's not going to be safe um the reticles inside you've got six options of reticles uh some really nice basic ones or they've got some really nice mill dot reticles as well and um i believe one of them is a first focal plane so as you mag in the reticle gets bigger and your point of impact is not going to change in that respect on on the reticle um as i've already said it's got a hd sensor the magnification usable on this this is the minus six power um i can crank it up to around about 18 and i've still got a nice image for shooting the pixelation isn't too bad but i think that's down to that sensor um it's got good operating temperatures so you can use it out in the cold or in the heat as i discovered last night um the battery packs, as I said, they slide out. You can buy individual battery packs as well. So you get one with it plus the recharging cable, um, which I've got charging just there. Um, yeah. And you can buy those separately. So that's that's no issues. Um, zero in of the device, same as a Pulsar. You can do the free screen zero in. So you can do your group on a large piece of paper after you've basically bore sighted um, wherever your bullets have fell you can freeze the screen move the uh, zero and reticle across to where your bullets have fell and it's that simple and you can zoom right in um, to get that absolutely perfect as well um, and you can have up to three zeroing uh, profiles as well so if you if say for example if you did have like an inner mount or something on this and you were using it on um, a blazer so if you were changing barrels out stuff like that you can save three profiles like 308 243 223 and and it's absolutely um cracking like that uh, and it's got an auto off function so if you're not using it it will put itself to sleep and it's got the cant indicator as well so it'll make sure you're level so all in all um i think they're a cracking bit of kit if if you just want a basic night vision that does the job that goes out shoots foxes you don't need to record it or you know have uh, any of the media off it then it's absolutely fine it's absolutely perfect for that it's a no frills decent night vision scope um that, that we've been running so um yeah very very impressed we sell them at baileys baileyshooting.co.uk uh or you can go to any of the yukon pulsar dealers in the uk and you'll be able to get one of these either in the 450 or the 470 variation so thank you very much for watching and i'll um i'll see you in the next one so yeah cheers